Hello my dear viewers, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to make result sheet of all students in a section. Here I have already made a result sheet for the students of my section in the first term examination 2024. Serial number, then roll number, student's name, then subject wise marks, letter grade and grade point. Here Bangla, CQ means creative question marks here, then letter grade then great point in the same way english management accounting ict finance marketing now let's see how we have done it for this i am going to open my excel sheet from my computer excel i am writing here excel 2016 i am using this version here two lines i am keeping for giving the heading or title then here i will write serial then role then student's name it will be enlarged then bangla it will need three columns so i am merging it just click here to merge it then write here cq then letter grade then grade point here you can select all the columns here that you need then make central alignment i have already done i am making it bold it will cover two rows merge it in the same way select them all here then its position has been central copy it and paste there Bangla, then change the subject's name, English, then management, then accounting, then ICT, then finance, the last one, marketing. Okay. I am selecting all these columns and making it smaller. See here, just doing in this way, or it may be slightly smaller. Okay. Now I am writing here first term exam or it may be second term exam according to your wish first term exam the next one 11 business studies section D now select it and up to here select it and merge it and enlarge the font size here make it bold next one in the same way up to here merge it then bold it then enlarge the font size as you need i'm changing the font for this from the keyboard i'm selecting all pressing ctrl plus a then i'm writing times new roman for changing the font okay i'm giving its central alignment here in this way okay now giving serial number one then two just the easiest way is that you will select the one and two then in this way up to ten okay then students roll four six zero one then four six zero two in this way up to ten if you need more you can extend it make it central alignment then student's name i am taking the name from my copy okay or you can write copy and paste ctrl v for making paste slightly smaller now i am selecting up to this portion and making its border okay then the size may be slightly enlarged in this way okay so that it looks fine the font size i am selecting 14 okay right here 14 now i am giving its color here according to my choice or you can use different color subject wise no problem i am selecting according to my choice but you can use this type of color according to your own size i have already given the color if you need you can give its color in this way now we have to set the letter grade and grade point for each subject 
at first i am selecting for bangla subject letter grade keeping the cursor here then give equal sign write the logic here that means rule for giving the letter grade or grade point we have to use if function then if first bracket click this cell the cell number is d5 if d5 its value is greater than or equal 80 it will be marked as a plus using double quotation mark a plus then close double quotation mark use comma use another if function continuously first bracket then d5 i am writing from keyboard greater than or equal 70 marks then comma if it is 70 then what will be the value that means letter grade it will be a in double quotation i am writing a then comma again if function logical test that means d5 greater than equal 60 comma if it is 60 or more than 60 later there it will be a minus quotation mark close comma again if function first bracket d5 greater than equal 50 marks then who is great b great comma again if function first bracket d5 greater than equal 40 then its letter grade will be c comma again if greater than equal 33 comma then letter grade d up to here we have given letter grade d if the value is true then i am using comma if the logic is false then what will be the value that means if it is below 33 it will be fail letter grade shortcut f so i am giving f grade if the value is below 33 then i have to use closing first bracket first on second on third on fourth on fifth on sixth number one in this way closing first bracket first on then second on then third on fourth on fifth number one up to here fifth number one then last one sixth number one then i have to press enter from my keyboard okay it has been done see here then it is so much easier to set all the function in this column at first select it when you will see plus sign you will double click on it it will automatically set it just in this way now i am going to set the grade point selecting the first one in the same way exactly like before using if function first bracket then which column this column e5 then which cell this cell the cell number is e5 the previous one was d5 but this one is e5 okay if the e5 its value is that means equal to a plus then the grade point will be 5 i am giving 5 then comma again a function in the same way e5 equal grade point a comma 4 again a function e5 equal a minus for a minus what will be the value three and half that is 3.5 comma then if function again e5 equal a for a grade three point again if function e5 equal b for b grade grade point will be three again comma again if function equal letter grade same for c grade grade point will be two again comma if function again d grade for d grade grade point will be one if it is true then if it is false what will be then use comma it is zero i am giving zero then closing all first bracket first on then second on then third on fourth on fifth on sixth number on i am pressing enter from my keyboard then apply it for all cells in this column please keep your cursor here when it will show plus sign just double click on it okay now you will apply this rule in all the subjects i'm copying it copy and paste copy and paste you can use your keyboard for copy ctrl c for pasting it ctrl v i have done it in this way then i am selecting these two cells and keeping cursor here when it is showing plus sign i am double clicking on it in the same way i am doing all these things so much easier 
Okay, I have applied all the rules for giving letter grade and grade point for each subject Bangla English Management Accounting ICT Finance and Marketing. Now, if you input the marks here, it will automatically change. That means letter grade will change as per the given marks and grade point will be changed. See here, I am testing here 75. Okay, see here, then 55. Okay, then 49. Then 32 fill marks. Then 45. See here, 89. See, automatically it is changing. 67, 98. See here, I am giving at random marks here. See, 11 fill marks. In this way, I am inputting my marks for the students 98. Okay, plus then 65, then 43 in this area. I have already given all the inputs of different subjects marks. Now one thing is left that means conditional formatting of these cells have not been set yet. Now I like to mark the cells of the failure subject and the cells more than 80 marks. I am selecting the marks of different subjects using control of the keyboard and at the same time mouse. Okay, I have already selected the marks column of different subjects so that I can apply the rules of all these columns at time. Now I will go to conditional formatting this option. Okay, higher sales rules here less than dash. I am clicking here. If all these columns marks less than 33, then all those cells will be filled with red color and dark red text. Okay, I have already given the first conditional formatting. Then second one, if it is more than 80, then what will happen? More than 80 means 80 and above, more than 79. If it is more than 79, then I like to give it green color. Then okay. See here, I have already done 98, that is more than 80, A plus, green color, green color, green color, and fail marks, 32, 33 pass marks, 32 fail marks, F grade, fail marks, fail marks, all these columns have been marked, and easily we can understand who have got fail marks and who have got pass marks in which particular subjects, and who have got A plus in the particular subject. Thank you very much. Thank you everybody and for different types of complex and complicated result we will show you different types of logics in the upcoming tutorial. Okay, you are cordially invited to watch all the upcoming videos. Thank you very much. Thank you everybody.